Oh, hi there. Well, my name is Jason Rivera. I'm a fashion photographer in Los Angeles, and um, this is my first episode on YouTube. And I'm here to, I guess, open up with the world and show you what I have done in my industry and the tools that I've learned to craft amazing pieces of art that I appreciate, my clients appreciate, and to show everyone that there is a possibility to be a person of color and work in the highest caliber of fashion and, you know, everywhere in between. Um, my thing right now is to show you who I am and open up the whole realm of plugins, Photoshop gimmicks, photography tutorials. I'll do everything that, everything that I can possible to make it easy, make it fun, and make it very intuitive for us to understand the photographic realm. Uh, a little bit about myself, I'm 31, I live in Los Angeles. I am very, very content in doing this first episode. I know it might not seem like it, but I'm learning as we go. So. I'm shooting on my Leica SL2. You probably won't be seeing that much because it's my only video camera. But you will be seeing the Leica M6. I've been shooting this for the last few months. It's been pretty fun. Never thought I'd be a film photographer, but here we are. So let's get started with talking about Retouch for Me. Now, Retouch for Me is a AI plugin software that is very, very intuitive. Very fun little just plug in where you can instantly clear out the background, instantly fix a face, instantly color the skin to match like the appropriate vision that you want. It has so many benefits for a fast paced workflow if you're doing e-commerce mainly. I suggest it as a go-to for anyone who's running lookbook campaigns and needs next day delivery. This will give it to you. So let's get to it and talk about Retouch for Me and a little bit about myself while we're working. Also, I know YouTubers be using this angle all the time to do their little, you know, spiels, but I won't be doing this angle only for this one episode just because I want to show you that I'm legit about this shit. <laughs> so let's get this going and let's get to know each other a little better and work on some Photoshop skills. Let's go. All right, everyone. So we're going to be starting with my first showing you how to do a photo edit with the lovely model Brianna P. So now, first thing I do, I'll grab these areas and just grab them like this with my little lasso tool. And I'll just try to get a clear white backdrop because we use the smaller backdrop. I use the fill, it should automate something probably get it at the first try. If it doesn't, we try again. Boom. So it has a little bit of discrepancy right there. Totally okay. We're going to get the patch tool. Bloop. Boom. Done. So now, whenever I look at an image, I tend to kind of look at why I shot it. What was so interesting, what was so appealing with it. I grab it. I see if I should crop in any sort of way. I'm trying to see if I can use this golden ratio. Mm, right there. Looks pretty good. We got some flow. Right there, perfection. Okay. So now, whenever I look at an image, I tend to find what was so captivating from it? Was it the expression? Was it the pose? Was the clothes at the right, you know, like form to make me feel as if it was worth even publishing or shooting or showing? And I think this photo has those tones that I love, like her skin matching with the natural light and how she's positioned on that little black square, which uh, was a good was a good little prop for us. Now, when I look, I see maybe we should do some retouching really quickly. So we'll start off with 
retouch for me. So now I'm going to create an extra layer, as I always do. Go to retouch for me and go quickly to heal. Now the heal tool will grab all the little blemishes on her face and on her skin and we'll see what happens. And they'll take it out and replace it with actual skin. So let's see how we got it. Wow, that's amazing. You see that? One thing though, it did grab her nostril, which I'm not content with. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just get a mask and then paint it away, that change. So we go back, 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 back. I lower my brush. I go to black and then I paint it away. I want that nostril back. And there we go. As you can see, a lot of her blemishes were removed. Even on the skin, which is, and it left some there, which I like. Interesting little tool, right? Okay, so now we're done with this. So next, I'm going to put it in. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll create another layer. And now, we're going to try dodge and burn. We're going to dodge and burn the skin now. And parts of the clothing as well, from what I've used before. But remember, this is all AI. This, it's doing it on its own. I'm not really doing the work. I usually do do the work, don't get me wrong, I, I do a lot of work, but uh, this makes it so much easier if you're working in a fast-paced environment where you need to return images right away, lookbook, ecom, that stuff where you're presenting impeccably edited work without the need of editing. So now let's see what happens here. All right, for the dodging and burning, I could see it kind of brightened right here on the chest. You can see, where else? It highlighted a little bit on the shoe. I'm gonna take that out because I don't like it. Brought more light onto the knee, onto the leg here. I'm just gonna take up that one, didn't like that. So it's easy just to remove and add, remove and add. So there we go. Perfection. Okay, we're moving along at good pace. So next, I'm going to be working on adding a little bit more volume. So I'm going to use a portrait volume. Now this one's the one that just like baffles me because if you look at how it just gives dimension to the image, to the face, to the clothing, it is pretty crazy little little plug-in portrait volumes by retouch for me now let's see how this looks all right we're gonna go in check out look at that you see how much of a difference it did oh actually I'm gonna go back and then do another layer just so you can see the actual difference that it did that was my bad I'm gonna let it run through again and you'll be able to see what it does. Now, this one actually levels, like, adds complete, like, layers to the skin. It, it adds a very smoothness to the skin. This isn't frequency separation. I generally do use frequency separation, but those are in, like, special cases. I'm, I'm very keep it natural type of guy. But look at this. Still, it's still adding. It's still keeping it natural, but it's adding an extra depth, darkening the darks, lighting the lights. Look at that. Putting a smoothness to everything. Look at that on the hips and in the thigh. You zoom out, look. Amazing, it's a crazy tool. What a crazy tool. So now, we did that. This is the portrait volumes. I'm gonna add that in there, I do like it. So we're we'll on to the next one. So on the next one, we're gonna do eye brilliance. We're gonna bring up the eye tones. So let's do it. It usually just highlights the whole eye, makes it look a little bit more sharper. Let's see, let's look in.
Love it. Only thing I'm going to remove is the overly whitening of the eye. Not too big of a fan of that. Okay. There we go. So now. Wow. Beautiful. So after all that, I think I'm going to do a little bit of frequency separation. So I created my own personal frequency separation with a friend years ago. And it's just a big action. You'll see right here, there's just a bunch of little plot. Like it's, it's, just, it's pretty much a lot of things that you have to do to make frequency separation happen. I have it already automated. So boom, if you want it, I can give it to you for free. No sweat on me. So now we're going to go here, we're going to use a brush tool um, with this brush tool. Uh, it's called the mixing brush. It's uh, here are the settings, 20% wet, 20% load, 10% mix, 20% flow. And then this one is 10% and then negative one. So now I'm just going to blend as best as I can. Okay, getting there. Now, a little bit about myself while I'm doing this. As you know, I'm 31, fashion photographer in Los Angeles. Um, I do enjoy other things though. <laughs> I uh, like to play video games. I like to ride my bicycle. Um, what else? I hang out with my friends a lot. I DJ for fun. Um, I do like a good Moscow mule and maybe a mimosa with some avocado toast in the morning. For you LA people, you know what I'm talking about. And then boom. All right. So now that we're done with that, I feel pretty comfortable with what I have here. There is just a tiny little area that I do want to work on, which is right here. I think if I just do the fill, we can see what happens. Content aware. Yes, let's go. Boom. Okay. Perfect. Now, I'm pretty happy with this image. Um, for sure, I'm going to clean out this and this right here. Nope. I'm just going to use the stamp tool. Now, I use many different methods, if you, as you can see with my editing. I, I'm, I'm a big person of like, just, you know, if it works, use it. And if it doesn't, uh, don't. Boom, okay. There we go, I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe that little edge, I don't like that edge right there. Let's see, boom. Okay, perfect, cool. So now I'm going to use one of my favorite tools. So you see all this background, this little dirty thing right there. I'm going to use the clean backdrop portion of the Retouch For Me. Now, Retouch For Me has a bunch of little plugins, but this one, this one will save you so much time. Let's see what happens. Um, and it didn't do it on the first go around, huh? So let's see if we can use the other one. So we're going to use Retouch For Me Cleanup. And then we're going to do the bigger coarse dirt. See what happens there. And it didn't grab it on that time. Guess we're going to use it one more time. See if it grabs it on the smaller one. It generally does work. Like It's a great tool, but I guess it's not working today. We're going to do fine dirt. I better find the fine dirt. But if it doesn't, then I'll have to switch it up and figure something else. Now, we don't let things stop us from working, right? We work and we understand and we try to find different ways. So since that's not working, I'm just going to use the stamp tool. Actually, not the stamp tool. I'm just going to grab lasso tool, grab this little area, boom, grab it. And I'm going to do fill, fill normal, boom. Perfect. It's gone. Okay. So now, let's see if it did do anything anywhere else, though. Hmm. So it took off this blemish out there. Okay. 
I did some things. But for the most part, we're getting there. Hmm. I do see a few little discrepancies right here. They're so light too. I'm assuming it works best when it's like big, heavy, like just like little dirt marks on the floor, you know? So now we're just going to use the, oopsie, highlight that, fill, boom. Okay, now on to the next. So now that we're done with this, now I get to my color correction part where I start doing color correction. Uh, I love the exposure software. I don't know if you ever used it or if you know about it. It gives you a lot of old film grains. Now, this is pretty cool if you're into the film grain look. I've been into it for so long. So I'm going to go to color, and I'm going to go to color print. Now, I'm only going to be highlighting. I'm going to be masking this. I'm going to do a reverse layer mask. <clears throat> And what I'm going to be doing is painting on what I like. So, as you can see, the reverse layer mask on the exposure software. And now I'm just adding it to her skin. And the hair. Also, using the right brush for this. And now, while I'm painting it on, I'm slowly but surely getting the image that I envisioned in my head. A very ethereal, very fun, very interesting photo. And that's what we do. We have fun. We take pictures and we show the world that we need more light and less darkness. I think that's ripped straight out of Kingdom Hearts. Alrighty, and boom. There you go. Look at that. Um, almost there. Perfection. Let's see how it looks. Love that. That is so cool. Okay, and then now that is the finished image in my head. I think I did what I wanted to do. Maybe I can do some curves and see what we can do. Even a little darker, ooh, a little darker is dope, actually. Or a little lighter, let's see. Hmm. Oh yeah, a little lighter is cool. Okay. We'll keep it a little lighter. But yeah, I thought, aside from that, I feel like this image is done. Now, that was just one image. Let's see the other one. So now this one, uh, the angle is a little off. So what I'm going to do is just reposition it. Kind of, let's see how it looks right there. Almost there. I'm just going to level it out a tad bit, like right there. Perfect. OK, so now I'm going to grab left and right side with the lasso tool, as I usually do. And then, boom, boom, boom. OK. And then fill. Content aware, fill. OK, I should be getting that beta Photoshop soon, too. Whoop, and that did not work. So we're just going to do content aware, fill the other version. And boom. And my computer is going to die. So if it does die, I have 10 more percent. Let's see if we can do bullet, just fast pace mode. Um, give me one second. Okay. Now I'm gonna just add this layer in there and then take that extra boot out, uh, more fill. Boom, okay. So now we're back at it. I do like the framing. I might lower it a little bit though. Like right there. That's cool with me. Okay, so now I love the pose. I love the way she's looking. Obviously she is a beautiful model background. Okay, so now we're gonna do background copy. 
and I'll instantly run. Now, I'm going to run an action which will be retouch for me heal, retouch for me portrait volume, and retouch for me dodge and burn. All three in one, okay? It's going to run it. Now, so we're going fast mode now. So I, my client is hitting me up. She's just like, Jay, where are the photos? Where are the fucking photos? And I'm just like, ah, oh, shit, you already paid me. Sorry. I got to run it. So I go on my computer. I put all the photos. I literally go to file, image processor, and then I have it run all those pictures for the client. And then they're happy. So, and I didn't have to do anything. And I charge the client $25 to $50 in edit, depending on my mood, and just depends on the vibe. So we're running it here. So now that it's doing the heal, dodge, and burn, and the portrait volumes, we're going to see how the image looks. And it's running fairly fast on a 10% computer, so I ain't mad at it. Let's see, I'll have, I have another story. So I guess, I don't know how me and Brianna met, but we always have like just little funny conversations when we're shooting and then it's like always a catch up party for sure. She's super cool and super chill. Boom, okay, so let's see how it all looks. So let's go straight to the face, instantly. Before, after, perfection. Let's look at her skin clothing didn't do anything on the clothing maybe her hand highlighted her hand a little bit didn't do anything to the legs nothing on the legs it was all on the face perfect that's all I wanted so now we're gonna be going on to cleaning the background so last time it didn't do much so this time we're gonna see what it does we're gonna stick with coarse because there's, well, there's coarse, medium, and then fine. I'm going to do fine. See what happens there. And then from there, we'll know what we're doing. Okay, so now we'll see what it did. Wow, took out all the dirt, all the gram. Perfect, okay, cool. So it did that part of it. So now... Maybe let's go straight on to the color grading. I want to grade it a little bit, add some fun color. Ooh, I love this. This is the Kodak Ultra Color 100 UC. Okay, let's apply it and then boom. So now I just created two images extremely fast without that much. Photoshop like movement you know I just pushed a button and it worked this one I did use frequency separation and this one I didn't do the frequency separation just because it already looks perfect and then lastly should I add the eye enhancer yeah let's just do it for fun boom and then now it's gonna enhance the eye you already know how I am I'm gonna take out the I'm just gonna take out the over white if it does over white it see how that looks that kind of looks good with this one wow look at that gorgeous and yeah so that was me showing you how to do two images oh let's not replace it so this is me showing you how to do two images on Photoshop using the plugins and doing very minimal work and uh, like if I wanted to do like file scripts image processor grab a folder as the capture folder where all the images are going to be processing and then make another folder where it's going to be saved I just go to default actions and then just go to heal dodge burn portrait enhancer boom that's three retouch for me tools and I could tell you it did about 89 percent success rate on 400 photos imagine that Imagine not doing anything, letting it run overnight, and having a success rate of that caliber for next day turnaround. It is a beautiful, beautiful plugin. The future is now. Jump onto AI. 
I'll catch you guys later on the next installation of Jason Shows You How to Do Photography and Retouching and Talking to Clients and everything else. But yeah, this is what we're going to be doing. And if you had a little fun, send me a comment and be sure to follow me on JRiffPhoto on YouTube and on Instagram. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.